Hello everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knackers Yard and it's quite full um, and it's got more fuller. Um, now I will be sorting out the two 1980s Yamahas and doing something with them, i.e. flogging them off. I do want to have a quick look at the timing again um, on Mac, the big 750. Um, yeah, I need to get away from my woes of 1980s motorbikes. So I've gone something a bit different. And what I've got is a 2010 ER6N, which I got for an absolute fucking steal. Um, picked it up last night um, using the old zip cars. It's it, it, yeah, but it was central London, um, so it was worthwhile doing it in the evening. I ended up getting back, and vans dropped off about 11 o'clock. But um, uh, yeah, going into central London in a van that you're unfamiliar with is tricky. Uh, so what we got? Uh, we have a 2010 uh, ER6N that's a London bike. Um, part of the reason why I went, yeah, I'll, I'll grab that from you, mate, uh, is the fact that it's dirty. Um, it's been ridden around, it's been used, it's not a showpiece. Um, uh, it is high mileage, um, but, and it is a Cat N in the past, um, but fundamentally. It's a London bike. Um, what's the fucking problem? It needs a clean as much as anything else. Uh, the other thing it does need is the stator, so it's not charging. Um, now, the guy that I got it from, um, uh, I won't go into too much of it. I think he was Lithuanian rather than Russian, but uh, the bike is to be known as Ivan. Um, yeah, Ivan has an issue, had an issue before where he stopped charging. Um, he swapped out the stator, swapped it for it, well he did, he got somebody to swap out the stator, he swapped it for a second hand one. Uh, it also came with the uh, regulator rectifier, so that's been swapped out as well. Um, uh, it worked for a year uh, and then um, stopped playing, so it's not charging. It's got a fresh battery in it, so it works for the moment at least. But I've got a big bag full of goodies, of loads of lubes and fuels. The guy's upgraded to a... Uh, MT09 I think so I've got a load of coolant I've got two stacks of them I've got the original indicators I have what I think was the regulator rectifier that came with it I on the bike there's a spare light for some reason uh, there's the original grips in there as well it does have Oxford heated grips but just for shits and giggles just to annoy my neighbours and to prove that it works you can see how dirty it is it just First job is to give it a good clean off and clean up. I think um, it's not worth going fully, really bullshit because, as you can see, it is raining, um, and there's no point polishing a bike and putting it in the rain. Um, so the guy had the battery off it on charge. Um, I met him. He put the battery on it and started it for the first time in three weeks. He said, um, and um, it just boomed straight in. Got a decent amount of oil in it. Got a scorpion exhaust, which you will hear. It sounds fucking lovely. Um, yeah, so it's not charging, so that's why I'm going to say first, first things first, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a clean first, so I'm going to break out the jet wash, it seems a bit daft to do in the rain, but break out the jet wash and just give it a whack. Um, brake pads on it are great, tyres are great, uh, they are uh, Angel GT2s, uh, so Pirelli's on the front, or front and rear matching. Um, Tons of tons of life left on it. Um, it's also got apparently, and I'll check this out, but apparently it's um, gone down teeth on its front sprocket to give it a bit more acceleration. Obviously, you trade off a bit of top. Excuse me, 
a bit of top speed for that, but frankly, for the use that um, it has had and it may well get in the future, um, that's probably a decent trade off. It has been knocked around a little bit, it has been rolled over, but it's got decent um, uh, crash bars on it, which have saved it, frankly. Um, so it saved the engine, it saved the front end. I can't even see any scratches on the bulby bits, which is where they normally catch on these bikes. Um, it does mean that the passenger handles get a bit of a, uh, a scrap up, but that's nothing that can't be tidied. Uh, right, uh, I'm going to see if I can dig out my jet wash and just have at it and see if we can just get a base view of what it's like. It came with muffs. Um, I took them off. I hate them with passion. I know they're practical and I know they have a use, um, but if nothing else, I couldn't get it out the back of the van because I couldn't grab the <laughs> brake. Um, I had to enlist the help of my eldest to get it out of the van, which is the first. Um, it is small, light and nimble. Uh, but I just want to give it a quick clean up and then we'll start having a look at this charging issue. Right, a few douchey moments later, I've had the jet wash out. A uh, bit of soap, a bit of scrubbage. It's brill. <laughs> um, yeah, it's billed as, you know, like scratches on the tank from daily use. There's nothing. There is nothing. Well, there's nothing. There is. There's zip scratches, but frankly, Polishing will get that out. I'm not going to polish today. It's just too wet and shitty. It's a waste of everybody's time and energy. But you know, I say it's important to clean a new bike. It's important to examine a new bike, and cleaning it is a good way of examining. Um, I mean, that looks rough, but I could probably dress that back if I could be bothered. Frankly, uh, I don't actually have a manual for this bike, which is unusual. I may have to get one. Um, I thought I might have it, you know, in a, like it might be in the ZX6 book or something like that, but it's not. But um, I can't imagine it's that different. Um, yeah, um, love it. It's a great thing. then bit of catch up I went inside to get my helmet and get my camera and all that sort of shit together came back out and the steam was more and it wasn't steam it was smoke um, obviously it tripped the fuse it took me ages to find the bloody main fuse box for future reference anyone with an ER6 it's in there <laughs> I was pissing around with all the other ones thinking ah oh. anyway bit of web searching yeah and uh, I don't know if that was the original one. I'm going to have to look at the markings. I think that probably was the original, i.e. came with the bike. This was the, because it's in a lot better condition, was the one that I think came with the kit when he bought it. So swapped it out, changed the fuse. That's goosed. Um, now I've just put my... Uh, battery tester on, I swapped the battery over to the other one that he put on, um, and turn on the bike, does its thing. That looks to me to be a charging battery, so I think previous owner was wrong and when they changed this stator across they kept it on the original rectifier and it was that that was causing the issues because there's nothing wrong with that stator that I can see so again you know bikes hanging on its natural 12 volts turn on Ivan have 
a sorted bike. But I want to see what it's like to ride. So let's let's stick you on the helmet cam. Um, we'll only we'll only go up and down the hill. We're not going to take the piss. Um, just take it up and down the hill. See what happens. Right, just for all the people that are going to complain that I'm not in full gear. Yeah, bite me. My choice, my risk. Right. Uh, I have also wired in the uh, wired in the heated grips this time. Let's see what this is like. All right, I do know it moves because I drove it up the driveway yesterday. Uh, because I couldn't be asked to push it. It's a funny little thing, this. I don't know if I look daft on it because I am not the shortest person in the world, nor am I the tallest. see why the previous dude had this as like a London runabout because they are very narrow brakes are good they are very narrow so they're good for whipping in and out of traffic and I can see what he meant about the lower cog on the front as well <laughs> different, different machine. Uh, right, let's jump you off this. bit of uh, polishing I broke out my tool action polisher um, I've taken off the tank protector because all the scratches are in the protector let me see if I can grab it out of the bit there we go 
and you can't really see it. All the well, you can see any of the ER6 stuff on it, but all the scratches are on the protector, not on the tape. So I just whipped it off. It cost pennies to replace, but I haven't polished any of the rest of it as yet. Um, uh, it's nowhere near that yet. Oh, I say it's nowhere near that. That's fucking brill. Um, I am gonna give it a bit more of a test to see if we no longer have any issues. Check if it's charging, but I don't think we're far off. Let's see if I can get rid of them stickers. Right, and there you go. If anyone is considering putting random stickers on their bike to personalise it, even if it's Delkovic ones, whatever, send them my way and I'll kick their head in. Um, I fucking hate getting off old stickers. Um, heat, carb cleaner, strong thumbnails. <laughs> this is my only suggestion. I know you can get sticker remover and all that sort of stuff, but fundamentally I think it's a bit of a waste of money. Um, but it does take a bit of time. Chucked on a bit of polish just because, obviously, uh, Get rid of the last of the sticky, a little bit of polish on the front. Um, what I might do on the back is just whip these off, give them a bit of a rub and chuck some paint on them. But I, to be brutally honest, I'm looking for jobs. I've beaten the V5. Um, so for those not in the UK, that's the registration paperwork. Um, uh, for some obscure reason in the UK that I don't understand, you can do it online, which is brilliant because you don't have to wait for postage. Um, but the website's only open in office hours, which I've never fucking understood. <laughs> Just fundamentally do not understand how that works. But, um, yeah, so I think it's good to go. Um, it's still got an MOT up to December. Um, yeah, I'm kind of... The only bit that I'm missing is one of the little inserts. So these things has popped out at some point. It's hardly surprising, they're only poxy little cover so I might sit around on the internet tonight and have a look um, but yeah I mean it's good to go that took me bearing in mind I've been running around doing family bits and for those that have missed the dog lady hello um, she's sat out with me as well bearing in mind I've been running around doing family bits and dropping off at clubs and my youngest has got her um, her show is on today, which she, I've been dropping up for rehearsals for. And this has taken approximately as long to sort as it did to pick up, which is fucking brilliant, frankly. Um, still need to, it still needs another clean, but um, but yeah, uh, good to go. Now, what to do with it? I, I want to ride it properly. No, not up and down the hill. Um, it has a valid MOT. It's not road tax, so. Yes, it's a public road, but for fuck's sake, I'm going up and down a hill. It's not so I'm going, you know, through major cities. Um, so, yeah, I'll, um, I think what I'm going to do is get it taxed, get my insurance um, transferred across, and take it for a proper ride. Um, what I may well do, actually, is tax it and then just go for a, 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 the Tempshaw Days Insurance um, and just to see how we get on uh, as a couple. Um, but yes, I mean, it's a brill bike. My only slight concern, if anything, is that uh, I'm quite a long bloke. Um, uh, not talking about my nethers. Not got a lot, but it's filled a pram three times. Um, and they all look like me, so there's no denying it. Oh, don't fall over. Don't fall over frame. Yeah, my only issue is whether or not I am too tall for it. <coughs> it might just be because I'm used to being on blue. It is huge. But, you know, my knee happily fits in the recess I'm not, which I have been on other bikes. Um, I'm going to have to look at my video to see how I look. You don't want to look a dick on a bike. Wireless station. Um, yeah, there's a few other little bits of tidying up, but really not a lot. Um, a bit 
bits of uh, surface rust to play with, but that's about it. Look at that project in about a day. That makes a fucking change, doesn't it? Rather than in a year and drawing into a blank. Cheers, all. I'll catch you later. Ta-da. <laughs> Thank you.